G'day people, this is Sharpino here. Just a bit of a little intro for you guys. So I just want you guys to understand uh, the first part of this episode was recorded over a week ago and I've been training uh, for the last week or so but I've also been under the weather as you guys can hear in my voice so I don't sound 100% but I just want you guys to know if I wear different shirts it's just because I it is a different time of the day, a different time of the week because the first part of this recording and the second part are in two different uh, weeks. So now that you know that, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. GJ people, this is Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 12 of the Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke. Ooh, I left you guys in quite the cliffhanger from the last episode. I do apologize for that, but it just means that you guys have all more reason to watch today's episode. So if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it because today, guys, we're going to get right into it. And if you don't watch last episode, you're not going to understand what's happening in today's episode. So do that, come back, and let's get right into the episode. So... We have our Shulong that is on the loose. Apparently we gave it the Xenos power and all of a sudden it first off got an amazing new form, but then it went berserk and left the building. And I was like, excuse me, I don't appreciate you leaving the building right now. Okay, so it's not over here. So we have to try to look over here. I think we'll heal up our Pokemon because our Pokemon's still a bit damaged from the last uh, battles that we had coming up to see Cardinal Abraham. Last episode, I thought we were going to have a battle with him, but apparently not. So I guess that works out for us. So let's head over here and check out what's happening over here. Okay, then. Shabino, this way. There's our dope Shulong, but buddy, you're with us now. Come join us. Scalion has been running this tale. Your Pokemon can't escape now. But now it's your duty to appease its rage. You're the only one who can do it, Shabino. I try to calm Shulong down. Shulong, remember the day we first met how awesome it was? Shulong. Someone's in trouble here, huh? Who could that... Oh. I definitely say so, gang! <laughs> uh, uh, next Pokemon. Looks like I'm famous among the fogies too. But I'm not here for my admirers, gang! <laughs> I'm gonna bone a pepper spread right here. Shulong is a valid member of the Xenoverse army now. And through it, I will get my revenge. They say it's sweetest when it's served up cold, but who cares? Take him down! Sure. The situation is worse than expected. Scalion, go over and help Sharpedo. Sure. Oh boy. Okay, well this is obviously a good situation. That's damn sure. Because now we have ourselves a Shulong over here. That is our enemy. Okay, and its stats are higher. Oh, even better. Just what I wanted. Muddy water. Okay, we swallow that. Hypnosis, but we miss! Shh, Willow, we can't miss! Come on! And he gets a crit! <sighs> okay. Leg Seed. Okay, we get the Leg Seed off. But we're almost dead, so that's not good for us. Uh, I can't stay in, because if I do, I'm going to die. We do have Scaly on here. So maybe we could use Scalion in this situation. It's fast asleep. Hopefully it could stay asleep for another turn. Which it does, which is awesome. Okay, so it's health was sapped. Let's go for... Ooh, not bad. Okay, we could go for Dragon Dance. You know what? Let's do it. We'll go for a Dragon Dance. We're our speed already, but now we're going to boost our attack and speed. Let's hope Shulong doesn't kill us. Hey, it stays asleep for the next turn. Let's go. Okay, that's awesome. The fact that we got that is awesome. All right, plus one Dragon Claw. How much damage are we doing? Wow, really? Tidal Dragoon? What is that? It's a multiple hit move. And I... Are you kidding me? It got like four hits on me. Are you kidding me? Well, that's not good. Okay, let's go for a fake out. Oh, that's insane, dude. What on earth? Okay. Uh, let's go for a high jump kick.
Are you serious? I missed. No, I missed. just really frustrated right now that is ridiculous dude that is so ridiculous i missed my high jump kick do i really have to cheese this like i did last time against that ex galvantula i feel like i might have to the problem is i don't know what typing that title dragoon is if that's physical then this whole strat is for nothing but we do get the extra turns of sleep, so that is actually pretty good. Okay, so now we're at plus two. Let's go for a side beam. Plus two. Wow. Now, he gets a... <sighs> we need to land it. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Of course we're not going to miss it. Ah! Come on, dude. For God's sake. Oh. I really need to land that. If... Thunder Wave. Thunderbolt. Would it be fair to say that I got hacks really bad against me? I would say that's pretty fair. I missed hypnosis a few times. I got hit four times with a multiple hit move. <sighs> Let me just try to just relax a bit, okay? Okay. No, 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 and again, no. How could you always come out right? Shu Long destroyed his nobody in the name of our Lord! Shu? Shu! How dare you turn your back on me and join this miserable beings! We're a superior! He's too strong for me right now. I wouldn't get out of it easily. But whatever! These fools will deal with the master, and then it'll be the end of them! And you little brats, just know that someday I'll get my revenge with my own hands. But until that day comes, add you, gang! <laughs> Sharpedo, try to appease your Pokemon's mind now. Are we friends? Even though you killed my Pokemon, are we friends? The battle made Shulon realize the real value of your friendship. Looks like it can control the blue energy now. Oh, well, that's good. I lost two team members for that to realize that, but I'm glad you feel better, Shulon. I'm really glad. Fortunately, everything turned out well in the end. Friendship between fellow adventurers overwhelms every spell. Am I right, Skeleon? Now you have that power in your hands. Try to limit the excesses. As you have seen, it is a power which has its foundation in hatred. 
So when mishandled, it could lead to severe consequences. I urge you to use it well. It has been a real pleasure knowing you, Sharpedo. It's been years since I last had the chance to be a valiant trainer like you. With that power, you will finally level the playing field with Victor and his team Dimension. Just remember that the almighty Luxblon watches over your path and protects you. Oh, I almost forgot. Now that you've resolved this issue, I'm sure that Nufar is ready to challenge you in her gym. But watch out. She could not be as large and muscular as her granddad, but she doesn't mess around. <laughs> I want you to take this little present from me too. The Ikarium Z H, is it? Ikarium H. This is the mineral for the Ikarium H. Using that contraption cr created by Asta, you can invoke my Skeleon to plow through skies above Eldu and go back to places you've already visited. Why don't you give it a try and try to fly back to Ishtar? Promise me you will stand your ground with my niece, okay? Um, uh, we have a gym battle to do, but. I don't think I can really do that right now because my Pokemon are like dead. So I can now fly apparently. Well, as much as I would love to engage in a battle, I have no team right now. And I for one don't appreciate that at all. And the fact that it was my own Pokemon that created this kerfuffle I don't appreciate. Okay, do you look awesome? Yes, you do. Do you have great stats? Oh my god, yes, you do. Oh my god, look at those stats. My goodness. Okay. Now, clearly, I want to find out what this goddamn move set is because I know you can teach it that that move, whatever that is, Idle Dragoon. So it's a multiple hit special, and he got a crit on me too. That was the other thing. He got a crit, Tyler Dragoon. On my calm minding hypno. That was so unnecessary. Was that really absolutely necessary? No, it wasn't. But you know what? He got it anyway. So. Uh, but is it better? I mean, you don't even have Dragon Pulse. You know what? I'm not going to teach you Tile Dragon because you know what? Like, right now I have. What move do I have? I have Dragon Breath. And that is base 60. So. I would have to hit it at least three times or more to get more out of it. And it could also paralyze. So you know what? I feel like that's better. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, due to that battle being what it is, we lost two members of our team. So now has to come the almighty bad decision. So rest in peace to Bayek and rest in peace to the Hypno. I can't believe that. That is so... That is such horseshit. It it really it really is. It really is. And now I have to decide which Pokemon I want to add to my team. I okay, just so you guys know that Eevee is easy to train. That's why I put that there. So now I have to make a decision based off the shiny Pokemon that I have here and these Pokemon over here, which Pokemon to add to my team. Now, I understand I'm gonna to have to do some Eevee training. And as you guys all know, it takes a long time for that to be carried out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pick two Pokemon. I'm not going to tell you which Pokemon I'm going to pick, but I'm going to leave you guys in a suspense just for a couple of moments because I'm going to make a cut here in the video, train up some Pokemon, add them to my team, and I'll have everyone trained up to level 30... I'll say level 36. Level 36, I think, is going to be a good level for this upcoming gym because I believe the level cap is 38. So we'll be right back when we have our entire team all trained up to level 36. Stay tuned for that. Several days later. Ladies and gentlemen, we found ourselves a shiny reindeer. Oh my god, I love this shiny. Look at this beautiful boy, uh, girl, sorry. Yo, that looks so dope. I can't believe we found ourselves a shiny. And it's a fan Pokemon too, which is even better. So I'm going to go ahead and catch this shiny and we'll bring ourselves back to the episode. Well, we have returned for this episode, and we found a little shiny while we were doing our hunting, so yay us. So, now that we are back, we've got everyone trying to level 36. I'm not 100% still, guys, but you guys have waited long enough for an episode, and I figured I'd better as well give you guys the episode. So, there has been quite a few changes on my team, some big and some small. But, let's go ahead and do a team recap for you guys. So, let's go ahead and look at... The first Pokemon, Poseidon the Shumong. I decided to give it Tidal Dragoon because I felt like you were going to get at least three hits every time. So it was going to be better than Dragon Breath at some point. 
Next, we got our Bakudani Electro Burst. Uh, nothing's changed there. Actually, I did learn Flash Cannon. I was able to find the Flash Cannon TM and I was able to teach it, and now it knows it. So now it's got uh, possibly a good move for us to use against Rock type Pokemon and Fairy types. So that would be good. Uh, we got Will of the Spirit Tomb. Nothing's changed there. Orient the Chikami. Nothing has changed there. What's this? My Kung Fu has come back, but why do you look so different? Oh, do you guys remember that shiny Kung Fu I caught a couple of episodes ago? Well, now I decided to go and use it because I thought it was so unfair how it was basically ejected after kicking itself out of the Let's Play, quite literally. I figured I'd go ahead and use the shiny version. Oh, I can get my friend Yugi. Yugi, can you help me out here? It's time to finish this duel with Reborn the Monster. Now guess which card I want. Be reborn. There we go. Reborn the monster. And now our friend has returned. Kung Fu, Bruce Lee the Kung Fu. It's no longer bike. And it has exactly the same moves that it has before. But instead of having technician, it has inner focus. And the last Pokemon decided to add, it is cash money the coin coin. So I decided to add cash money because... We had another, we have an immunity to ghost type moves, which our team does have uh, one weakness to that. And it is an incredibly bulky Pokemon. And in fact, it gets a really cool move as well. I decided to give it this. So we have Slam, Stormthrow, Yawn, and Trick Room. So that is the moveset that we have for our friend over here. Uh, the item I want to give to you is not that one. I want to give you a different item. You know, oh, by the way, we found like a whole bunch of items with the off screen as well. Um, yeah, we'll give you a wide lens. I can't afford you to miss any more kicks there, Bruce Lee. And yeah, so other than that, guys, we are good to go. So, from our last time we were on here, basically we had to go ahead now and see Lady Ishtar because now that we have seen the castle, this is where we left things off with her. So now we have to go to the castle. Ah, there's a merchant over here. Hello, sir. What do you serve? You have Mystic Water. You have a bowl. You know what? The Mystic Water? Let me hit you up with that. Yeah, check out that money, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Pinky Berry, Margo Berry, a rhino. Ooh. Yes, please. Actually, I'll go 30. I don't think... We'll go 30. I don't... I'll, I'll go 40. 40, I think, is enough. Plus, we loaded, so who cares? We got Cassie Berries. Let's go 40 of those because you just never know, guys. You just never know. And when you've got all this extra money, you know, why the hell not? So, we've got Heal Powder and Angel Powder. I'm good. Can I open the chest, please? Hey! Hands off, you thief! I'm only looking at the box, dude! Oh well, time for a battle. Here comes our Poseidon. You know the one that killed my two of my Pokemon just a few moments ago? And I realize the animation is still off. Oopsie daisy. And now we do more damage because that's how we do it. Poseidon's at level 37. Alright, let's go for another Trial Dragoon. You guys have seen it, what it looks like. You know what it does. And <laughs> Meowth reacts with its very own multi-hit attacks. And I'm like, yeah, but mine are better. So you can, you can suck it. I'm sorry. Give me that rare candy. Freaking accusing me of stealing. How dare you accusation me with that level of accusations. I don't appreciate kindly those accusations. All right. So now we've got the battle scenes back on. Let us continue. Alrighty, so from where we left off, after we just run into that merchant by chance, uh, we need to go to the castle. Ooh. And we find Sunny Days over here. Hello? Is this. Oh, here's the castle. Lady Ishtar, how long it's been since I've seen you last? Welcome back, Sharpino. So tell me, did you manage to meet Gramps? I sure did. He loved his water. What? You gained a new power on the volcano? This is fabulous. 
I knew that Gramps would have brought the full potential out of you. I'm sure you're going to solve the canyon problem in the blink of an eye now. But first, I would really like to touch this new power... Oh, oh touch this new power of this. I thought it was a, a typo and test power, but apparently she wants to touch my power. Uh, yeah, keep your distance, okay? So I'm waiting for you inside the gym. I can assure you it won't be that easy. I'll see you inside. Oh, okay, I'll see you inside too. All right. Oh, it's the guy that's in front of everything. What's up, buddy? Welcome to HTC Gym, young trainer. What? You wonder if I'm paying to follow you? Sadly, no, but always remember, I'm cheering for you. This time before starting, I want to test your sense of observation. So tell me, in which type do you think the gym leader specializes in? Till the R, I know the answer. You have carefully observed her clothing, I see. Yes, that's right. Nufa is a water type specialist. Counter rushing stream with electric type or sound type Pokemon. I wanted to test your insight ability because you're really going to need it in this gym. <laughs> insight. No kidding. And you guys are about to see why this gym is so. I know a lot of people would assume that it's a ghost type gym because of all this, but trust me, it's not ghost. Here you come, Challenger. The challenge of the Ishtar Gym is based on our ancestors' games. The first one you're going to challenge is called the Game of Farfetched. The floor is dotted with platforms depicting the effigy of various Pokemon, where you need to find your way on. Only by reading and decrypting in the right way the clues on these pillars, you will know which road to take. But if you miss your step, you will find out on your own the fate you're destined to. And that's all for this game. Try your best and watch your steps trade off. Is there anything over here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, great, it's unknown writing. You know how good I am at that? Okay. Walk on the grass. Okay. So, I'm guessing that's the grass type, and that's Leafeon. I got it right. Yay. It's empty. Why are you here? Walk on the fire. See, I do remember this from a long time ago. Okay, so fire. So over here, I'm guessing that's La Vesta. It's been a while, guys. Don't don't be like I'm trying to BS you. Trust me, I'm not. There's something inside. We found the elixir. Yay! Walk on the water. When alone, nothing happens, but together an odd power emerges and intensifies. Uh, okay. Okay, Master Advisor. Astani. Okay. Here comes the Orient Express. Let's go. Razor Leaf Flurry. Oh no, it boosts its defenses for my Orient. Whatever shall we do? I was hoping for a crit there so I could be like, oh, that's what we could do. But now we're going to get confused in the process. Oh, come on, Orient, you got this. You got this. No. 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 Oh, my God. Why? Why? Why am I getting hacked this episode? Stop. Seriously. In that battle alone with freaking Shulong, I got hacked enough. The last thing I need is this bullshit. Stop. Oh, god damn, I've had enough of this game, god damn, this episode alone, sheesh, must learn ingrain, no, I don't speak Italian, oh my god dude, can we stop with this nonsense over here, like honestly, stop, Okay, so we have to walk on the water. So, that's the water, and 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 we made the end! Yay! We found a PB Max? Yo! I like the PB Max. Luck does not exist. Exist a moment when preparation meets opportunity. Okay, cryptic guy. 
oh, it's a normal Pukumuku. It's not the, you know, the bad one that we keep facing off against. Now, I don't trust this Pukumuku for one second, so I'm going to bring in my Willow over here. Because if this thing goes for counter, I'm not in this long game. And it goes for safe card. Are we serious? It evaded the attack? Excuse me, sir. Safeguard does not protect you from Leech Seed. How does a little ball, how does a little sea cucumber evade the attack? Purify? What does that move? On this wind. Okay, so it doesn't have mirror codes, so I guess that's a good thing. I'm just really not trusting it right now. It's no longer protected by the safeguard. Now that bitch going to sleep, because that's what we're going to be doing. Put that boy to sleep. I'll tell you what, you'll be putting that boy to sleep. Mega Drain. Give me that energy, boy. And Orient's level 37, and what's learned? Paper Cut! Oh, you know what that means. I know what that means. Oh, I know what's about to happen right now. Yes, finally, it's evolving. Let's look at this boy right here. Orient, evolve, reach your final form. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... Kurodako. Get four anime for Kurodako. Soma Sail. <laughs> Yo! We have ourselves the evolution. Meet Kurodako. Let's check out the stat differences. Oh my god. This looks so good. Oh my god. Look at its attack stat. Yo. Oh. The pitter patter of my little heart. Oh my goodness. You know what? Last week I was not in a good place after this first part of the video. But now, I'm actually feeling a little bit better. I won't admit you guys, I'm feeling a little bit better. So, the luck of, is part of the game. Really? A game of luck? And it always seems to favor me. Okay then. Oh, hello. There's a spore crack in the wall. Do you want too long to widen it using the water jet? Yes. Uh, okay. What is this place? I've never seen people. Is that shiny? It looks like an ancient coffin. Do you want to open it? Wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait a second. If this is a static shiny, yo guys, this will be insane. Add that to my shiny collection though. Oh. As if I don't have any, enough shinies as it is. <laughs> yo, shiny Cofagmagus. Such an amazing shiny. That is such a dope shiny. You guys cannot deny. You guys cannot deny that is an amazing shiny. Yo, that is awesome. That is a dope shiny. I'll tell you what. But now I cannot escape. Uh, okay. Now, the problem is you don't have a lot of special defense. If I use flash cannon, it shouldn't kill you because um, it's not stabbed. There we go. Okay, let's go to a bag. Let's use an Ultra Ball because it's a very primo shiny. Uh, I, do tell, I do declare this be a very nice shiny. And we caught it on our first attempt. Let's go! <laughs> so, we have sort of shiny Cofagrius, the coffin Pokemon. They pretend to be elaborate coffins to teach lessons to grave robbers. Their bodies are covered in pure gold. 
I'm gonna go ahead and call you Imhotep. You guys remember that? You are. Oh, no, you know what? We go with the OG mommy Tutankhamen. Let's go. All right, Tutankhamen has been added to the PC. Ooh, a rabbit crown. Okay, uh, in the items pocket. What is that? A maniac will buy it for a high price. Oh, it's money. Okay, I get you. I get you. Okay, well, that was a nice little secret that we found. You will pay for your mistake with the currency of defeat. The currency of defeat. Kiss my shoes if you want to taste defeat, boy. A Carvana. Here comes my uh, buckle dog. Hit him with that thunderbolt! Taste of defeat. Bitch, get out of my face. Get out of here. Beery Geary. This thing is. Uh, this thing is electric and water. So this will be neutral. Almost gets the kill, but not quite. We do resist the infestation, but now we're going to get uh, residual damage dumped on us. Like a steaming hot pile of dog crap. And I don't like that. I don't think a lot of people would like that. But we are level 37 now, so that is awesome. For my queen, you shall taste defeat for your queen. I don't know how good cash money will be. This actually is water. I keep thinking it's, it's water. I, 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 I keep thinking it's a, it's a ghost gym. Okay, so that's the end. So, empty, empty, empty. Okay. Holy hell. Gotta go fast. I was just waiting for a trainer to fall down. Let's battle. Bro, whatever you're eating, you better stop because you're moving way too fast to be eating berries and getting that fast. Here comes Shiny Bruce Lee. Kata. Fake out. The foe couldn't move. Hey, knock it off. Hey, no, that's how you knock it off. <laughs> Gyarados. Ooh. Okay, this might be a little bit of a problem, but hopefully not for our new friend. Let's go for high jump kick. Ooh, okay. Ice Fang. Does a little bit of damage. Knock off. He gets a crit. Can we get over the crits, please? For the love of God. Can we, please? Let's bring in our new friend, Grudako. Orient! It's not very effective, and I still have my rough skin ability. Don't touch me. Aerial Ace Flurry. Down goes the Gyarados. I love to fight, even more if it's for Queen Ufar. Okay, you've made that pretty clear. Alright, let's go ahead and put Cash Money out. Oh yeah, I didn't go through the moveset of, of Cash Money. So for Cash Money, I decided to go with Slam, Storm Throw, Yawn, and Trick Room. So I figured I went to the Move Ring Learner, and it actually learns Trick Room at level 1. And I figured, because I have a lot of Pokemon on my team, like Willow and uh, Poseidon, that are really slow, in the long run, maybe I could use cash money to my advantage and make my solar Pokemon very fast. I just have to watch out when I use, um, obviously, the Thunder Wave off my uh, my Buckle Dun, because if I make my opponent's Pokemon slow, then, uh, then I'm basically going to be helping them out. So, you know. So we're going up against one Pokemon, and that's another Gyarados. Oh my god, what's with the... Fucking Gyaradoses! Get out of yourself with the stupid Gyaradoses, dude! God damn! Let's go for yawn. I eat that! I'm a big fat buddy boy! Scary face. You're going to make me slower? Oh, well, thank you kindly. The dimensions have been twisted and your boy is asleep. Now, I do know that, unfortunately, while it does have a lot of defense, it is not very offensive, so 
it's more of a, a setup Pokemon than anything else. But now my Poseidon is probably going to be slower than this Gyarados, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Tidal Dragoon. Really? Poseidon is 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 faster? My thing's got terrible speed though. At least I think. It woke up, went for scary face, lowered my speed so that now I would be outsped. And now my trick room is about to run out, which means that I'm now going to be running behind. Hey, great. Awesome. We get five, though. Finally, some luck in our favor. Thank God. We could use a bit of that luck. Thank you very much. Jesus. So are we at the very start again? Are we really? We got a sody pup. I like sody pop. Pop, pop, sody pop. Wow, we're back at the start from that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We'll wrap this episode up right here. We'll get through the rest of the gym in the next episode. And then that way you guys have something to look forward to in the next episode. So again, I do apologize for the fact this episode did take a long time for me to put out. But I had a lot of things happen in my life. You know, we had flooding in New South Wales. If you guys aren't aware, unless you're in New South Wales, you know what we're talking about. Um, as you guys can hear, I'm not 100%, and I'm trying to hopefully get back into making regular content again. So I hope you guys can understand that, be patient, but I hope you guys can support the channel. And by the way, thank you guys so much for 1,600 subscribers. We did beat that goal, and I'm so happy for that. And, you know, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting 400 more by the end of the year to make it a clean 2K for the end of 2022. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like button down below. If you enjoy the content you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button with that notification bell so that you guys know when the next video drops in your sub boxes on the YouTubes. So I'll take a look and see all you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.